How much water is required by man-made snow production? Hi everyone, my name is Günther Eigner and I am an Austrian researcher on the future of skiing. Today let's answer three questions. What does the water requirement for snow production depend on? How much water is required compared to the natural water cycle? And is the water used by man-made snow production vanishing? The amount of water required depends on a few different factors. It is different for every single ski area. Moreover, it is different on every single part of every slope. The required amount of water depends on the altitude, the direction of the slope, the steepness, the number of skiers frequenting a slope, its subsoil and the overall season planning of the ski lift company. To get a feeling for the required amounts of water and their relation to the natural water cycle, let's look at an example. The Steinplatte is an Austrian ski area between the states of Tyrol, Salzburg and Bavaria in Germany. This ski area has four water reservoirs with a total capacity of 200,000 cubic meters. That amount is enough for the snow production of the entire winter season. So the reservoirs are filled once a year in springtime. The Steinplatte ski area is placed in a small village called Weidring. That village has a surface of 64 square kilometers and is located in a part of Austria with no shortage of precipitation, with an annual amount of 1,800 millimeters. That amounts to 115 million cubic meters of water. With the annual rainfall in Weidring, the ski area's reservoirs could be filled 573 times. One more time, 573 times. From another perspective, a short rain shower of 3 liters per square meter in Weidring would be enough to fill its reservoirs once. The water that is used for man-made snow production is neither disappearing nor is it polluted. After the snow has melted, the water goes back into the local cycle. Even the water that has evaporated goes back into the natural water cycle. Now, let's answer our questions. First, the required amount of water for man-made snow production is different for every ski area, every slope and even every part of a slope, depending on different factors like altitude, direction, steepness or subsoil. The amount of water required for man-made snow production is vanishingly small compared to the natural water cycle. No, the water used by man-made snow production is neither disappearing nor is it polluted. After the snow has melted, the water goes back into the local cycle even the water that has evaporated. And that's all for today. Enjoy skiing, the most fascinating sport on earth. Ciao.